going to now show you how we do our shimmy move. So we begin um, familiarising ourselves with the move by practising something called the hand dips first of all. Uh, you may have seen the hand dips, they look like this. So you're dipping the hands in and out of the hoop, you're becoming aware of the space between your body and the hoop. So this is the first step. Um, to do the hand dips, you may first of all um, need to actually look at the hoop and see when you have that space free in front of you to dip the hands in. Um, again, you need to be quite quickly quick with this. So you may want to just start with one hand first of all, in and out with one hand. When you're confident with this, you can take it to two hands. So in and out with two hands. Um, so once you're ready and you're able to do these hand dips um, perfectly, you can then attempt the shimmy move. So the shimmy is going to transfer the hoop from your waist onto the shoulders. So first of all, you're going to take one arm in and you're going to hoop on one arm and on the waist, okay? So you're using the arm, but you're also using the waist. So once you're um, happy with one arm in, you're going to attempt to take the second arm in. Um, sometimes it does help if you turn in the direction of the hoop, uh, that will assist you with this move. So you watch now, I'm going to take my second arm in and look what I'm going to do now. I'm going to stop moving my hips and the move is now going to come from my shoulders. So second arm is going in and I'm transferring it. It helps to turn as I say, but as you can see I'm transferring that hoop oh, up onto the neck as well, you can do that one. Um, so from that waist to the shoulders. Now as you can see I'm pushing with my shoulders the move's not coming from my waist anymore. Uh, the shoulder is a push forwards, push back. Push forwards, push back, push forwards, push back, push forwards, push back. Um, now a couple of tips with this, okay, is what you've got to try to be aware of is not to do your penguin arms. Um, it, I'll demonstrate this. Is what will happen to a lot of people when you begin is you'll take the arms in and you'll get quite stiff and you'll think that you can try to keep the hoop up by using the arm, by using the hands, um, it, it won't work. So just try to loosen up, um, try to get rid of all the stiffness in the shoulders. If you can, keep your hands um, glued to your legs, so like this, and let the move come from the shoulders. Your hands aren't going to be able to save the hoop. So try to avoid the penguin move if possible and let it come freely. As I say, turning will help you. So go in the direction of the hoop. Maybe once you've got the first arm in, then start to turn. Then when you're ready, take the second in. And remember, it's a push forward, push back with shoulders. Keep those hands down, don't stiffen up. Keep pushing, 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 pushing. And then if you want to, you can bring it up onto the neck if you would like. And from there, you can either bring it back down to the shoulders or you can take it off the body into a lasso or any move that you prefer.